Hi everyone, this is Max, and welcome to another episode of Max Bites, my mini podcast I do exclusively for all of you, my wonderful subscribers and followers and everybody that's on there and, and watching me and and uh, and enjoy my work. I really appreciate it. And uh, and everybody, I want to just say I have a special guest with me today. Who's here? Are you here? I'm here. <laughs> hey, hey, Ross. So what, who is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who it is. Who is this that's with me? <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs> I don't know. There's somebody at the door. Let me open up the door and see who this is. No, this is I've got. I've got Roxy with me today. What's up, Rox? How's it going? Hey, it's going good. How's it going with you? I can't complain. I can't complain. Everything is going. I mean, everything's going really good. Thank God. So no problem. So life is good. Life. Oh yeah. Amen. Life. Life is is really good. Life is really good. So figure we break it up this time and and I'd have you on and uh, you know for my little mini bites and uh, we could just talk about. You know, whatever we can talk about a couple of things and and you know and have some fun and uh, share it with everybody because you know I think they enjoy that. So you know. yeah, and you have the best subscribers, don't I? Don't I you really do? Care? You really I mean, do. They really are cool. They really they really are a cool group of people. I mean, I can't you know they. I mean, it's it's just it, it's they're really good people. I mean, I have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun talking to them and engaging and everything. So, I mean, it's a really nice bunch of people. So, yeah. you, know, you know, everything like that. Um, so what's going on in the world? You know, what's, what's happening? So there's really not much going on. <laughs> <laughs> not much. Like there's not a whole lot going on in the news, right? No, nothing at all. Um, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what are your, what do you think's going on over there with uh, Twitter? So the deal closed oh. yesterday, right? The yeah. deal's yeah. final. Yep. Elon I, has moved in. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I and I said to everybody, I, t I think it was as early as February that that was going to, I don't know if it was February or March. I'm pretty sure it was right around there. And I said this was going to happen. I never changed my story. There was all this back and forth with how he was doing it, what he was doing, why he was doing it this way. And I, frankly, I never lost faith in the fact that he was going to purchase it. I, you know... It it was a little more complicated than I think it needed to be, but who knows? At the end of the day, what was going on behind closed doors and what the final agreements were, at least uh, beyond the the top line price. So, I mean, I I knew he was going to take it, and I'm glad he did. And uh, you know, now it's been a very kind of like a I think not so muted dramatic you know change of the guard. And uh, yeah, you know, he's what do you think is going to happen? Well, you know, it, it all depends. We have to wait and see. I mean, I think firing people that, um, you know, were clearly violating, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they were the architects of arcane po internal policies that got a sitting president suspended from a major, from the major public forum, digital public forum. And I think, uh, getting rid of those people and the ones that came up with these weird content moderation uh, policies of theirs was, was a prudent idea. So that's a good start. He must have people ready to put in those positions or he, or he wouldn't uh, terminate them and he must have a restructuring idea uh, already for the company. So I think there's going to be a definitely a definite change. Um, you know, whether or not all their policies are going to change has yet to be seen. I think some people will be reinstated. Quite a few smaller accounts were reinstated. I don't think everybody will be reinstated. Um, but uh, at the, yeah, I mean, they you know. might they might just rejoin though, you know, and, and yeah. open up a new account because now that they have like you know new management over there. Well, it's sort of like um, it's sort of like um, you know Mike Lindell. You know, it's like I remember he tried to come back on if I remember correctly, and he got suspended again. So I think things like that you won't see anymore. I mean, why can't the my pillow guy be on there? That's silly. Um, you know, the, there are things like that. But of course, the biggest account is going to be, uh, you know, President Trump's account. And yeah. I think that's going to, I oft, I believed he would restore it. I mean, I, I'm not 100% certain that the restoration is going to take place of that account. And, and, I, I am pretty certain President Trump will make use of it uh, once if he's restored. Um, I don't know how much he's going to make use of it, but I think President Trump likes to. Do you use think it he'll right. go back? I, all, I if, he, if his account's restored, I believe he'll use it. I don't know how if he'll be on that as much as he'd be on his competing 
a platform. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, President, you know, I should say Donald Trump has to uh, mitigate and and uh, and try to weigh that, you know, what, what is better for his his company, because now he's invested in a in a in new. Truth, yeah. yeah, he is. And, and so, you know, it depends. But I do believe that he will use it. Sure. I mean, there's a bigger audience. He has a bigger following on on Twitter. It's a bigger audience than truth. So if you ever wanted to know, you know, the comparison, what is there like 300 million active users on Twitter, something like that, the number is kind of uh, vague. And then on um, truth, you have to only look at Donald Trump's following, it's about 4.5 million, roughly. So there's a much bigger audience uh, on on Twitter. And of course, there's a lot of bots, but there's still a bigger audience of real people. So, yeah. um, you know, it, it makes sense to go there and post some stuff. And I think he will. Um, but I don't know how often he'd use it. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but I think, the, I think the right thing to do is, of course, restore his account and make a blanket policy that public figures, especially uh, leaders, aren't going to be suspended for any reason because you, yeah. have to, you have to see what they are saying to make informed decisions as to how you're going to vote. I mean, how, how undemocratic is that, that you're censoring our leaders? So, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You know, but um, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how we'll, we'll see what the, what the turnout is. I think it's going to be very good though, that Elon's taken over. And I think that it, we'll, we'll see things moderate more. When I say moderate, it'll move more to the center you know, so because it's on the extreme left right now. So anything that brings it some balance. Right. For public discourse. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, it's good, though, that, um, you know, because sometimes like on Truth Social and even Telegram, sometimes you get kind of stuck in these little echo chambers, you know, yeah. so it, it's good to be out there and really, big, of course, there's more trolls and, you know, yeah. whatnot, but at least you have like a, a bigger audience to speak to and then you know those are potentials to come over you know to our side and you know yeah. see the light so to speak yeah no it's it works out better that way so i'm really i'm really excited about it um and i'm happy that you know i mean i've been gaining i don't know in the last day uh last 24 hours i must have gained like you know at least the last i checked was about uh, 900 you know followers and a lot of wow. people yeah a lot of people um uh, returning, uh, you know, I hadn't seen in a while and they weren't active. So all of a sudden they're, they're, I don't know if they, you know, had their account deactivated. I don't know if they were, you know, whatever they weren't just, they were there and they weren't there, you know, and it was just in the background, but it was great to see them, um, you know, tweeting, you know, at me and, and, uh, you know, rec yeah. replying and stuff and saying, Hey Max. And I, so I was really, it was kind of cool. I was looking at their, their avatars and I was like, yeah, I kind of remember you from like, you know, <laughs> three four years ago it's been a while but you know yeah. three years ago so well, that was kind of depressing when all that happened and yeah. uh, you know after january 6th or whatever and then you know yeah um you just started seeing all your friends disappear it was, well, it was crazy. i remember i was it was a friday night on the 8th when the purge started in earnest and it it kind of started on the 6th uh but because i i remember uh Draw. I remember peaking at like 140,000 and then it started to drift back a um, couple of thousand. And then, you know, you don't lose 2000 followers in like 10 minutes, 240 right. minutes. That's, that doesn't happen. So, um, and then it stopped. And then I remember on the eighth is when everybody was getting axed. And I mean, I, I went all the way down to one point. It took like, it took a few days actually, but it was like, got down to like 89,000. And then over the course of two years, I've, you know, the accounts built up, new people have joined and, yeah. you know, but, but I still that, you know, you lost like 50,000, uh, so, you know, followers and they just disappeared in a matter of a week you know where'd they all go yeah and, and you know that was that's what happened but remember your twitter room <laughs> yeah <laughs> right like, that day we were just watching like them getting picked off by flies and then it just ended up being me and you in there 
I remember that that was hilarious. It was just you and I. It was just like we were let, we was in there and everybody got axed and 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 it was like we were staring at each other and I was making <laughs> up I was tweeting out jokes about the Titanic sinking and people were laughing and they were like thanks for making us laugh and I'm like well you know and I had everybody out there uh, it was that scene from Titanic where they were playing their um the musicians the five musicians on board the uh, promenade <laughs> yes. deck were, we're playing their violins and everything, their instruments, and you know, nearer, nearer thy God. Uh, was it nearer my God to me, or uh, I think it's nearer thy God to me? I forgot the name. Of, I'm probably I'm, I'm mangling that that title, but you know, it was. Um, I, I was just like laughing about the the fact that everybody, you know, and and I everybody else was too. They were laughing with me when they were saying, "I'll see you on the other side, Max." You know, and it was that kind of a thing. We're just making jokes up because what can you do? Yeah. You know, I was like, "This is this is the end." I guess we're all going to end up on Parlor, and then of course Parlor, and I actually was using Parlor a lot at that point, and then Parlor got axed the like two days later, yeah. and you know they were they were they've never recovered. And, um, you know, so I was surprised we survived, like we survived. I was like, whoa, we're still standing. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was ridiculous. And I yeah. know a lot of people canceled their accounts too in protest. It was so right. there were some people that were just, they didn't just, they didn't get banned. They just, they, they didn't want to use Twitter anymore. And I understood that. Um, but yeah, I've always stayed on. I never left and I'm glad I didn't because here we are and everybody's coming back. So that's cool. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, the times you know, are changing. Yeah. I mean, you know, and right before just, the election, know, perfect timing. It's almost like it was planned. I'm not, you know, <laughs> it's like you quote hear unquote. The, the quote unquote planned. Get your was, tinfoil hat on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, that's the way it's, it comes across, like, perfect timing. I guess we, anything, anything that happens on November 8th we don't like, we can just take to Twitter talking about it. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, okay, let's let's talk about it. Let's let's use that that famous word. I'm not going to say it, but you know the word. So, you know, um, it, it's it's like, you know, it's been, it's great, though. I'm glad, I'm glad people feel the bird is out of the cage, as Elon Musk said. So that's um, that's useful, yeah. you know, and it's one, one way of putting it. So, yeah, I don't know, but... Um, the but Twitter see, is free. Twitter is free and free and, speech. And we're heading into the elections. So the elections are looking good. I mean, you know, um, what's your feelings on the elections? I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, oh, I mean, I follow this really great analyst guy on uh, on social media, and uh, <laughs> his name is Ma <laughs> his name is Maximus Forever. I don't know if you've heard of him, but I've heard something about him. I've yeah and him. he's got a he's got he's got a baby did you know that <laughs> yeah i've heard of yes yes he has a he has a kid he has a baby max he has, he has a baby now yeah yeah there's a, and there's he's a, a smart little bugger i'm i he's popular and i'm glad um you know i was debating he's whether, adorable by the way uh well I'll, I'll let him know you you said that i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure he'll appreciate that you know well you know i'm glad people like him you know you just don't want to you know, put him out there too much. You know, he's got to get his rest and, and right. what have you. But you yeah. know, it's. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, so listening, listening to you and uh, your analysis, and you know, reading through certain things and attending your seminars mm. has been, you know, a huge help to kind of sift through the noise and to understand polls and how to read them and how they stack up against history. Yeah. And, you know, it's uh, it, it's not dreary looking at all. I mean, I think we are on the horizon of, you know, great things of taking back what yeah. was taken from us. Yeah. And uh, and moving forward to 2024 and yeah. rocking it then. Hey, I appreciate you saying that. I really do. It's it's very touching. You know, it, it's uh, it. I mean, I do the most, I do the best I can and I try to, you know, my, my thing is just trying to give comfort to others and, and some, you know, clarity to what's going on. And, you know, that's why, you know, I, I do the, the max bites for everybody, you know, it started on telegram and everybody wanted it. And so I keep putting it out there and it keeps getting more and more popular and, you yeah. know, it's, uh, it, Hey, um, well, you're a voice of reason in a world that. of confusion and, mm -hmm. you know, misinformation, mixed information, opinions, you know, I appreciate that. And, yeah. and nowadays, like, you know, everything is subjective. Truth is subjective. You have your truth. I have my truth. I mean, does that even make sense? I mean, truth is mm -hmm. truth, you know. Yeah, but, but anyway, my point is, is that, um, mm -hmm. you know, you give the voice of reason and people trust you because it's like, I mean, look at your record, you know. Yeah. And, well, uh, 
I and do, it's common sense, and that's what's that's what's missing in this world. I do hit the mark a lot, you know. I, I and I I don't know. I don't go by stats alone. I not right. I, mean, I don't you know. I, I I look at the cultural history and the demographics of a particular group of people, and I take that into consideration. Then I go with a lot of instinct. So you know, when you're synthesizing all that information and you're looking at it, it's th that's how I make you know, calls. And do I call everything right? No. I mean, I, I look, I, hey, we're going to be talking about it with everyone at the seminar this weekend. And, and uh, you know, we'll be talking about it after the elections, during the elections, after elections, people and they're definitely going to be races that I've not called right. And I'm hoping they're all in our favor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I don't, because I'm, I'm pretty objective. But um, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I try to, you know, all through everything we've been going through for the last two years, I've just tried to be, yeah, I, and it's unintentional. It's kind of like taking a form of its own. I haven't really tried to be a voice of reason, but yeah. it's kind of, it's how, it, how it is. And I appreciate a lot of people say that, you know, I get, you know, I get dozens of, uh, well, you brought uh, back you know, independent, you brought back independent thought too. So it's not a matter of about being right all the time or hitting the mark or, you know, being able to predict every single race, but it's yeah. about, Somebody sitting down and looking at a poll and being being able to digest it and being able to come up with an educated thought about yeah. it instead of like going out and hearing, oh, my God, the Democrats are six points ahead and they're going to crush it. And then you're like sitting there crying, you know, thinking about, you know, how did this happen? But yeah. instead, it's like, you know, if you look at past, you know, past polls and, you know, you gotta, are they left leaning polls? I mean, you kind of you just. You taught, which is what you do. You're a teacher. So yep. you've taught a lot of people how to, yep. um, you know, trust themselves and to not necessarily just listen to what is force fed to them. Oh, so. yeah. And trust the Lord. I mean, I try to always. Amen. Yeah, amen. amen. I, I, I try to always tell people that and and emphasize that because that's where I ultimately put all my trust. And you know, He's given me everything. You know, He gave me He gave me whatever few gifts I have and whatever they may be. Um, I try to share them, and and that comes from the Lord. And I you know I try to press that on to people. You know, that's where they need to put their faith. So you know, as that's far right. as you know, amen. So as far as the election goes, uh, yeah, I mean, it's looking really good in a number of races. And, uh, you know, for, it, it's it's amazing how many blue states now are in play. So to some extent, I'm not going to, you know, I, want, I don't want people to walk away thinking that, and I try to emphasize this as much as I can, I, you know, I don't want people to walk away thinking that there is, like, we're having great success in every um, you know, we're going to win every single state on the map and that's not going to happen, but right. we are definitely going to do good on election night. And, uh, and but we're seeing things like in New York, right? I mean, it's yeah. like, not necessarily New York is going to turn red this go around, but we're right. starting to see a little purple popping up here and there. You know, yeah, we are. I mean, you definitely seen it. Selden is going to help everyone down the ticket, even if he doesn't win himself. And that's a good thing. I mean, he's going to help every other Republican running throughout the state. And I think that's an excellent thing because he's really got the, every, every one of these races is breaking for the Republicans at the right time. So this right. is where you, this is when you want to start winning. You don't really want to be necessarily want to be ahead six months ago or three months ago or even two months or a month ago. You want to do it right now in October. And so it's really good to see what's how things are shaping up. Um, and um, just tell everybody out there, you guys all should join Maximus Premium. It yeah. is, you, I mean, I'm just going to say contact Roxy. That's me. That's, that's her. That's her. <laughs> Roxy Balboa, the number one at gmail.com. Contact her or DM her Roxy underscore Balboa and tell her you want to sign up. And uh, we would love to have you join us because everybody's joining is joining up. And and just to, to everybody out there, you can get annual memberships now. So many yeah. people this, this, or this month are just upping to an annual membership. So it's a lot easier. So if you want to join for a year, uh, we do give a discounted rate on that, and so just at, tell, ask Roxy and tell her you want to, or just you can also just you can DM me and ask me too, and uh, you know. And we, we take all to, forms of payment. We do. We take all forms of payment, and uh, you're you're welcome to do that. So we would appreciate it. So you guys would have a love, wonderful time because I sit on there and I put post so much stuff, and I do so much analysis, and I do so so much. So you're welcome to join. So anyways, it'd be great to have you. So contact Roxy about Maximus Premium because you really will enjoy it. So anyways, but um, anyways, Roxy, it was great having you on. And uh, I it was will, fun uh, being here. 
it was fun. We have to do this again sometime. You guys got to catch Roxy and I do Magabytes, which you can see one of the episodes are posted here on my YouTube channel. But um, and I'll leave a link at the end. But you really should join Maximus Premium too, because we do Magabytes once a week, at least once a week, which is a live full b podcast that we do from about we can go anywhere from one to two hours and i answer questions yeah. and we have input from from members and uh we'd love again and they're live and they're live they really are that's the cool thing about it is people just love being interacting with it so that's a lot of fun but uh so another benefit from being an mp so we'd hope you will consider joining but anyways roxy was good seeing you today and talking to you and and uh yeah. i really yeah we'll have to do this again just like this sometime you know <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when and I'll be there. I, I will. I will. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm going to, I'll definitely going to, I'm going to set up a smoke signal and say, okay, now's the time. So <laughs> you can hear your little hat signal. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, anyways, you take care of yourself now. Okay. You do the same. Okay. God bless everybody. Thanks for joining in. And I hope to see you again soon and be well. Take care. Bye-bye. Sure.